So we test at a level, I used to often say along the Prop 60 trail, imagine, because like our demographic of workers, right, like 18 to like 40-year-olds, we're fairly young, we're having a larger amount of the larger amount of partners, regardless of if we're in the adult film industry or not. Right. Can you imagine if like college students tested the way we tested? Yeah. Like we wouldn't have STIs anymore, guys. Right. It would just be over. Yeah. So that's the ed- the piece of education that is often missing, I mm-hmm. think. You know, we don't have comprehensive sex education and STI uh, transmission information in our schools, in our lives, right. <laughs> like anywhere yeah. really. Um, and even still in the adult film industry where it is our business to be informed about this stuff, there's still a lot of stigma in, mm-hmm. you know, informing where – real facts should be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, and you see the way the mainstream media really latches on mm. to HIV outbreaks. You know, oh, there's an HIV outbreak and there's a moratorium and it's like, yes, it's scary and yes, it's it's really awful when someone contracts that, yeah. but to be truth be told, that is actually the testing system working. It is. We found one person who had who tested positive for HIV, we halted Before production. They got to set. Yeah. <laughs> we halted production. If they worked with anybody else in the industry, we tested all those people. We tested second generation and we wait until everybody's tests either come back clear or all the testing yeah. um, you know, rigors have been gone through and then we start again. And a lot of times the uh, not the last one actually i'm not sure what happened with the last one because we try not to release these people's personal information exactly. because it's, really it's important a very to private thing yeah. but i believe that there has been a couple of situations where it's somebody who wanted to work an adult mm-hmm. right never had before yes. they come in they get tested because you have to before you work an adult they didn't know they had something they find out they had something so they yeah. never even worked in the industry but exactly. we still call a moratorium because we're just so super super like overly cautious because you have to be you're dealing with people's lives yeah you're dealing with and and we don't think about it you know again the hierarchy as i mm. call it like adult film is is at the top there's more respect whatever that fucking means mm-hmm. um but at the end of the day like how many workers are having for a living as like their main source of income yeah. not a lot if you ask people who like even girls on the street mm-hmm. would be like ooh. Oh, you're doing it raw every time? Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. It's it's a risky activity, and yeah. that's why we test the way we test. That's why we do what we do. That's why we have communication and checks, checklists and all those things. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, we are and, – and I work for one of the biggest uh, corporations in the adult industry, mm-hmm. MindGeek, and they have a very strict rule because I check everybody in pass before yeah. we get to set to make sure all the performers are clean. But they have to have a green check, yep. which means a clean test, not the day – the day before the shoot. So like say if I'm mm-hmm. shooting on a Wednesday, I check it on a Monday. If they aren't clear on that Monday, if they're like, oh, I'm going to test Monday uh, or I'm going to test Tuesday morning and my test will come in Wednesday when we're on set, that's not okay. Because I've had that happen where someone's had a dirty test and then I'm on set already, they're in makeup and I have to kick them off. Yeah. And actually the last time that happened, the um, it was a false positive. The girl yeah. actually didn't actually have anything because she said, she's like, I know I don't have anything. Totally. I haven't it worked. Happens. And I was like, it doesn't matter like I, I I believe you, but yeah. I can't. That's it's so irresponsible for me to have you work. No, um, so we had to send her home. Yeah. So they have to actually be cleared two days before the shoot date. And I think that like people in in like mainstream mainstream uh, film, it's like the level of care and the level of um, foresight that mm-hmm. we have to put into. Uh, what we make yeah. in this industry because of the stigma and mm-hmm. because of the you know um, magnifying glass that's mm-hmm. often placed on uh, legal forms of sex, which is why we you know we really want to work towards decriminalizing uh, yes. all forms of sex. and then right. and then we can build from there right if when we see like in Nevada like where you start with legalization a lot of brothel owners were involved in making those laws and so they don't always. Um, you know, serve the workers to the to the best of their ability. But if right. you if you stop treating people like criminals and treat them like workers and small business owners, which is what we are. Right. Um, but I I do want to point out, like I, I said, I do a lot of mainstream mainstream media, and like those are the sets that I don't get asked before I get touched on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when they're just okay, we're gonna lav you up. It's like okay, your hand is literally under my blouse now. Mm-hmm. So maybe, and because there's not a culture. Of caring, you know, the, right. the the performer is everything in this industry, and right. like, if you don't have them on set, you we cancel the shoot or we or we scramble to get somebody else. Right, it right, right. really puts a kink in the day that I think most line producers on mainstream sets would be like, wait, what? You have to do what? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. 
At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.